What's going on y'all? It's your boy Roddy from Red Sport Fishing. Today I'm with the Iguana Man. Sure. Today's video is 40 degrees right now in Florida and we have a thermometer which is actually going to tell the surface temperature of the specimens that we're catching today. So as you see we have a bunch of iguanas and they are frozen solid. Here we got Charizard. You want to grab that buddy? Oh, 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 get him, dude. Oh, fuck. What's up, man? So, hey, we're at our cemetery job. We got reports and we got authority to, to get these frozen iguanas. We've seen on the news no chance of snow in Florida, but a high chance of fallen frozen iguanas. Grab him, man. There he is, right there, rain. Nice male, do lap out, trying to thermoregulate. Little does he know that he's probably like uh, got hypothermia going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of frostbite. Just a little bit of little <laughs> side of frostbite, right? Grab him. Let's go. All right. Show you what we're going to do with him, guys. Where there's some monsters out here. And you guys seen us out here before, tons of times, getting the monsters, but there's always a lot of monsters that get away. And since it's a cemetery, we can't use air guns out here. So, right, you just put him right on top here. Yep, just like that. We're going to see how many we can put in the bag at the cemetery. Silly frozen iguana. You've been a bad boy. Flowers right here, people paying their respects. And there's a big iguana problem out here, y'all. So we're going to have our eyes peeled. Oh, dude, look at this. Yo, trash panda. Trash panda. Look, there's a there's an iguana right there. Frozen one. What was that panda doing over there, dude? I think he was eating something. Look at this, y'all. Grab him. Can somebody land him? Yep. Poor guy. Oh, man. oh. He was just asleep. Oh, look. He, he's missing the arm. His hand. Little nub. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Nubs. Holy yeah, dude. Shit. No, that's what I was telling you. Yeah, look at that. Oh. He's missing a whole, his whole uh, bottom half of his elbow. He's got a nub. I told you, bro. There's been big iguanas out here. They'd be fighting and biting and death rolling, dude. He's probably a yeah. victim of that. Whoa. You see this guy? All right, let's keep looking. Let's go over here and we'll make our way back there. Another what? Where? Oh, there's look, there's a couple of them. You see there's a baby one back there too. I think they're dead though, dude. All right, let's keep looking guys. There's gonna be some big ones out here. Yeah, let's keep looking. This is insane guys, right now, man. Uh, cemetery job. It's super cold. We need to clean up as many of them as we can. I and mean, we have a bucket we're gonna put these guys on. This is insane, guys. Here, Mr. Nubby. Fuzzy numpkins. Yo, I never thought my first time at the cemetery we're catching frozen iguanas. Whoa. We don't know if he's drowned or if he's still like up, but he's just floating there. He's just suspended in the water. Oh! He's swimming oh! Look how he's hugging on that tree. Oh! Oh! oh get him! All right, it's all good, dude. Let's keep moving on, man. There's gotta be some big ones we can find. Look at, oh, look. Dude, this is what that trash panda was doing, bro. Oh! Oh! Damn, he ate his face off. Dude, he completely mutilated that. Let me get a close up of this real quick. That thing got that thing got destroyed. Oh, uh, okay, there's something that right there. That no might idea. Be some kind of trinket of some sort. I don't know what that means. And then there's a dead iguana right there. What was that raccoon doing, bro? Yeah, I think the raccoon just ate his face off right here. Look at that. Yeah, that's yeah. what he was doing. And then we came and confronted him, and then he started acting all weird. All suspicious. Yeah. yeah. Silly guy. Yeah, that right that that iguana got murked, bro. Alright, let's keep walking and moving, guys. Watch your steps too, alright? Like I said, guys, we're at a cemetery right now. My cemetery iguana removal job. And we're right now looking for frozen iguanas. This is absolutely insane. Wow. Yeah, dude. It's a dirty job, man. Somebody's gotta do it though. And look at oh, right, right there. Oh, oh. 
Oh. He's bleeding too. You see that? Yeah, he's got a bloody mouth like the other one, dude. Right, I'm going for a swoop right off the top. Here, clear, clean your net, bro. Clean your net. Yeah, flip your net around, man. Yeah, you can't let this guy go. He's right no. next to the water, bro. Nah, he's, he's going in the bag tonight. Yeah, bro. Here, hold this for a second, sir. Go ahead and help if I need to. Yeah, you got to bag that guy. Just go hockey style on him, bro. Yep. Yep. Wow. Look at that much. Works out. Wake him up a little bit. Is he up or is he? Uh, he's... No, you're getting him. Yeah, just like that. Just get him. I don't think I think he's done, bro. Oh. I seriously think he's done. The what that, on earth? That stuff was coming out of his mouth. What's wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Yo, dude, that's a giant. Oh, oh smokes! What? Swamp dragon. Crazy. Oh man, he's yo. We are in 40 degree weather right now, catching iguanas in the cemetery. Bro. And check them out. They're completely frozen. <laughs> Frozen solid iguanas. Insane, dude. Absolutely insane. Let's take a look at this guy. I think he's still. No, he's up. He's good. He's still up. He's moving. Yeah. He's moving, but somebody look at his snout, though. What? He's got a. Oh, no, he just got a busted snout, bro. Whoa, what is that? Is that a new type of. Not all. Oh, you know that? It's probably when he fell. It's probably when he fell. You see, it's a gash right there. No, he's good, bro. He just. So they're basically falling from the trees and hurting themselves. They're kind of knocking themselves out and then getting frozen. He's completely like unconscious right now. Is he? I, no, you just. I think we just woke him up. Look at this eye just opened. Look. Oh. Look, look at. It, but look at his eye. No, he's up. He he's up. He's still good. Okay. Let me see inside his mouth. Are you all right? He's our oh, He's gripping. He's just really cold, dude. Super we have that cold. temperature gun. Do you yeah. have it with us? Awesome. All right, we have it in the truck. Um, we might have to go back there soon. But look, that big tree right there is where those big alphas are at. So have a good temperature reading on these. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Definitely, right. definitely. Exactly. Um, stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. We're at the cemetery, and it's raining. <laughs> Frozen iguanas. It just gets insane. Getting them right out the mud. Woo, that boy is stinky too, man. Put okay, him down. Yeah. I right, so check this out, man. He's missing a nail, and he's also missing a tail. And as you see, man, he's completely bloodied up from falling from a tree. Yo, this is insane, yo. We are in 40 degree weather right now, catching frozen iguanas in the cemetery. So, yo, we're gonna bag him and tag him. You got a point, what is going on, dude? Yeah, what is going on with him, It's like the second one we see with a bloody snout. Just weird. Guys, we've been catching frozen iguanas for like the last five or six years. And we never seen one. Oh, there's another giant one right oh, there. I have to get that one. All right, here, I gotta here get go. this one right here. Hold on. Look that at that beast right there, dude. And it's the same thing, dude, except this, is... this one is orange. But look at his snout, dude. It's busted up. What is going on right Whoa. now, guys? Guys, what is going on, bro? Are you all right? Let me see if I can poke him with a stick. Let's see what he does. I don't know. Dude, I think he's out cold, bro. Guys, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I think he's out dead cold, bro. And I think that blood coming out of his nose is definitely a sign of some type of disease or something like that. Here, get close. Come on, I'm going to go down there and grab him. All right, I don't want to get all netted up. My soul. Let me come down here. Grab this puppy. Hopefully, there ain't no gator. Wow. This is a hefty boy. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness and he is well, look at oh. the uh, flip him over flip him over look at that he's his, sunken his stomach is completely decompressed right now you're right roddy it's like a, in, a, de a decompressed decompressed deflated football or something right and then you want to see something cool roddy oh. look at his cheek right there dude oh you see that look at that dude oh. fresh Some, wound fresh wound right there in a kill spot and he i yo so do you think these vultures are flying around knowing that these iguanas are frozen and they're actually targeting them to eat? We've seen it earlier today at one of our other jobs. A vulture came and ate an iguana under his armpit, like ate his lungs out from the inside out, dude. And look at that peck right there. That is that, definitely- That's definitely a peck. That's definitely a peck. No other predator can make that type of wound right there. Then, Other than a vulture or something. Look at that. Yeah. I don't, that's- Oh, it goes in there, dude. Bro. That, 
I've that, never seen that before. Yeah, that's a that's a whole mystery in and by itself, right there, guys. Look at that wound that a vulture created. They probably, you know, what they did, Roddy. Mm. They're probably out here. They're probably eating iguanas for the last couple of days because it's been cold. Yeah. These big ones, maybe they seen it. Maybe they couldn't eat it right away, so they figured, let me kill it at least. Right. Let it, you know, it's cold out in a couple of days. So it might get funky, right. and then we'll have we'll food come back later. Home. Exactly. That's this just my is theory. Really insane, That's just my theory on this particular one. But nonetheless, guys, first giant orange alpha frozen iguana at the cemetery. Insane right here. Orange specimen. He's out cold. And uh, it looks like the vultures put the finishing touch on him. But now he's going to be the cherry on the top of our hunt so far. So we're going to go ahead and put him in the bag. And we have to go encounter that tree. So we'll put him right here. Back up. Belly up. So we don't lose him. And he still has a little... Are those nerves? Or? Yeah, it has to be. Uh, bro, I use his nerves right now, bro. Honestly, he could still be alive, but just be frozen, dude. I feel like that's what's happening, man. But we'll leave him right there. I'm not sure if he's alive or dead. I guess we'll find out. But um, yeah, definitely something took try taking this whack at him, dude, and get you know hitting him while he was down and cold, you know. Well, hey, I'm glad we got the evidence at least to show that it has to be some sort yeah, of. Yeah, maybe some of you viewers at home might know the answer to what happened to that iguana. If so, drop a comment. And let us know. Your yeah, ass feel, buddy. Right there. there. All right, I'm gonna try to get this like one right. Clockwork. Yeah, because remember, they like, they're so good at dodging us in the water. You have to just go right on top of them. Okay. You want to? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. All right, you can't go underneath him. You yeah, have to I'm just going go on. Top, I'm going yeah, so he swims in the net, you know? Yeah. Because we, we were getting work the other day, bro. That's a giant. Look how you see that right there, Larry? I do. Look at that orange boy right there, suspended in, in, in. He might be alive. You think so? Yeah, but you have to get right on top of his head. Yep, just like that. Let him. Yep, let him move into it. Oh no, oh. get it over his head, doc. Oh. Yep. There you there go. go. Flip him in. Flip him in. Don't break the pole, Roddy. <laughs> All right, there we go. I got him. Jeez. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. He's about to, yo, he's about to come out the net. Yeah. Get him out here more. Yeah, get him out there. Got oh, these. man, he's definitely active right now. I think that water might have warmed him up a little bit. We've been doing some tests. The water temperatures are like 15 degrees warmer than the ambient outside temperature. So, might have warmed up a little bit. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. He's out. Oh, yeah, oh. He is. oh, oh. Oh, he's definitely got some energy. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, is he, he up? up? Yeah, he woke up. Oh, he did wake up. Look, come over here. He's up. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? He just woke up. That water is definitely warmer, so. Wow. Look at this guy. He was just, he was just like literally sleeping with his snout out the water. Now he's up. He's still cold, but he definitely snapped up. What do you think about this one, Roddy? Uh, this one has energy. <laughs> this one has a lot of energy so far compared to the last 10 we caught. Yeah, man. Frozen iguana. Yo, hey, this is a phenomenon that only happens probably once or twice a year, if that. It's very rare. And it looks like we have a whole week of it, man. So I'm super happy. It's good that we're getting these guys out the ecosystem. You guys, All check right. this out right here. We got Charizard. You want to grab that, buddy? Oh, 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 get him, dude. Oh, spec. Yo, he's about to, he's about to bail, son. Hold on a second. Yo, he just tail wrapped me in the face. Oh, shoot. The dog, right? Walking my pet iguana. Come here, I got some questions for you. Man, Yo, he just tail whapped me in the face, bro. First time for everything, right? That thing is like a paddle, man. Insane. One of the big dragons out here terrorizing these cemeteries. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to... okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say you ain't gonna be a hold of like that, but okay. We got him, boys. Oh, you saw his eye? Yeah. Oh man, we got him, bro. Dude. Look how big his dewlap is right here, man. <laughs> Yo, talk about a dinosaur. Whoa, hold him there Real for a life second. Godzilla. There it is. Yo! Oh my goodness. That thing is massive. It's like that a Charizard is. from Pokemon. <laughs> Mixed with a Dragonite, but it's a dragon here in Florida. Sheesh. Dude, that's insane. Yo, that yo, is. people say, you know, frozen iguanas, not true, doesn't happen. Yo, I'm Bro. telling you guys right now. This is video proof if it happens. Definitely happens, and they are massive.
They are. Out here at the cemetery, boys, taking care of business. Yes, sir. Let's bag them and tag them. It's on to the next. Silly iguana in the back. All right, y'all. <laughs> we got another section of the cemetery over there. We're going to go check it out. All right, guys. We have the, uh, the thermometer right here. Basically, you shoot at it, and it detects the exact temperature of the specimen. Right there is 43.3 degrees Fahrenheit. So... Pretty cold. This one's What's 48. This, one? this one's 49.1. 45. Another 45. So let's go 78 degrees right there. Damn. So what you're telling me is the temperature is about, they're about 40 something degrees. Correct. 43. So they're cold, bro. What's, what what temperature do does like water freeze at? Like 32, 32. right? 32. Yeah. Damn, they're so, not that far. They're, yeah, they're pretty close to actually being completely frozen. This guy, dude, he's got a crazy nose, man. See that right there? Crazy. Wow. I know. Warm up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Anyways, guys, we have to go check out the other side of the job, man. So look, we got uh, some specimens. We got a couple more inside here, especially that big one that we caught. He was crazy. We actually had to tape him up, put him in the bag. But guys, we're going to go to the other section. Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. We're at the cemetery. Take care of business, y'all. We had a lot of fun. Look at a this, lot man. Yeah, Christmas time. And it's freezing. And there's iguanas under the tree. It's pretty sweet, y'all. Hey man, nice and dark. I actually like working in the cold right now for iguanas. A couple of different reasons. One is not hot. Two, dude, iguanas are easier to catch this way. We don't have to chase them, and they don't go crazy. And three, there are giants. Look at the size. Of some of these boys. A lot of them we would never ever be able to get this close. Frozen, y'all. Frozen, frozen, frozen. <laughs> we can't pay. We're doing bounty, so we will keep it up. Got a lot of crazy stuff going on right now, y'all. Like, comment, hit the rest subscribe button. We will be back. All right, iguana man. Out here. Bagging those silly frozen iguanas.